There are three distinct types of glider pilots. Um, the one is just a social flyer who wants to go up and fly around the airfield for a bit. The other type of glider pilot is a long distance pilot, what we call, he wants to get the maximum distance out of the day. And then the other type of pilot is the competition pilot who wants to compete against others. Gliders normally use a ridge lift or thermal lift. Ridge lift is when the wind blows against the mountainside and it, the wind then deflects upwards and the glider can then remain in the wind. Thermals are created when the sun bakes on the earth. Um, the air on the earth's surface heats up and then eventually breaks away from the ground, causing what we commonly call a thermal, uh, which goes up sometimes to 18 or 19,000 foot above sea level. Gliders compete in different classes. Classes are the club class, you get a standard class, you also get a FII 15 meter class. There is also an open class. Two newer classes um, which has been added in the last couple of years is the 18 meter class. And then the newest addition is a two seated class. You have two pilots, so it's a, it's a dual cockpit, it's a double seated glider. A typical competition day starts off with a briefing uh, where the pilots or the contestants will receive a weather briefing, in other words, what the expected weather is for today, the con weather conditions. The pilots then also receive an allocated task for that day. Now, tasks can be an assigned speed task, which is a fixed course in which the competitor must fly as fast as possible using the current meteorological conditions. Uh, the winner then gets a thousand points and the rest, the other competitors, get pro rate less. The other type of task is an assigned area task in which the competitors need to fly into a certain area. The newer form of competition which is more spectator friendly and which makes more sense to the man in the street is called sailplane Grand Prix Racing. Competitors also get assigned a specific task but the start line, in other words, the time when the competitors start on their task is synchronized. It makes a lot more sense to the public and with this kind of competition we are trying to improve the spectator value of gliding. Obviously when competing in a world-class event you have up to 100 and 120 pilots um, which are the world's best. It makes no sense to go and compete against the world's best with inferior equipment. I believe that the JS1 has a certain edge, especially in strong weather conditions. Thank you.